how to copy course components from one Brightspace course to another. A Brightspace tip brought to you by the Anne Arundel County Public Schools Office of Instructional Technology. So here I am in Brightspace and I'm in a course that we created previously where we've customized our nav bar, we've customized our landing page, and I want to reuse all of the specifics of this. I want these announcements that I have here about how our self-paced courses work. I want this custom widget we created on the right-hand side with course information, like how many credits and how many hours. And even this beautiful teacher profile that includes our office icon and other information important to our self-paced courses. So I'm going to create a new self-paced course and instead of having to duplicate all of this, I just want to copy it over. This is especially important for those of you that have been working to make your sandbox look the way you want your future courses to look, to know that you can copy the individual components that you want into your future course. So the first step in copying information into a course is to go to the course that you want to copy it Two. So I'm going to get out of this course. This is the one I'm copying from, and I want to go to the course that I'm going to copy it to. So we're in the process of creating a new self-paced course on our application Wixi. So we have the Wixi course created here, but it hasn't been customized at all yet. You can see the nav bar is completely different. The information contained on the landing page, completely different. So I want to copy from that master template that we use for all of our self-paced courses. Now that I'm in the course I want to copy to, I'm going to click my gear in the upper right hand corner and I'm going to scroll down just a little bit and find this option on the left that says import, export, copy components and click there. Now I want to search for the course that I want to copy from. So I'm going to click right here where it says search for offering and I'm going to type in portions of that course name. Specifically, it's the self-paced master and choose search. And then I'm going to find our master template right here. So I'm going to select it and choose add selected. Now I get two options at the bottom of my screen. I can copy everything, all the components. It's going to take not only the nav bar and the landing page, but all content, any quizzes, any assignments, everything in that existing master is going to come into this new course. If I don't want everything, which again, for those of you copying from your sandbox, you might not want everything. There were some things you did that you were just playing around and trying features out. So you might prefer to select the components that you want to copy. So I'm going to click on this option. So now I see all of the options for me to choose the individual components that I might want to copy over. You'll have the ability to grab things from content, graded items, assessments. It's up to you what you want. Now I know for this self-paced course that I want the home page. I want the navigation bar. I want the announcements to come over. I want the general course appearance and I want the widgets that we had created. The other items I don't need, so I'm going to leave those unselected and I'm going to choose continue. So now it's a confirmation screen and I choose finish. And it tells me that it's copying and once it's done, I'll be able to refresh the page and see that it's brought over the components that I wanted for this self-paced course. So now we're in the same course we're able to see all the components that it brought over. It brought over this customized nav bar with only the options that we use in our self-paced courses. It brought over the two announcements that we include in all of them. It brought over that custom widget for course information and it brought over the teacher profile. But one important thing to know is that even though we say it'll copy all the components that you choose, it doesn't necessarily copy the individual customization within those components. For example, this teacher profile file is back to being the default mic instructor. It's not the one that had our office icon, our title, and contact information down there. So even though I asked it to copy all of these components, I might still need to do a little bit of customizing in order to set up my instructor profile the way it was in that master. So that's how to copy components from one course to another.